The Sumatran tiger's extinction is a very important issue, and it's already started. Their numbers have been drastically dropping in the last 40 years. However, the species as a whole was given a boost in June 2016 when ZSA London Zoo welcomed a very special arrival. The Sumatran tiger, or to give it its scientific name, Panthera tiger symmetry, is the smallest of the surviving tiger subspecies. With male tigers only weighing between 220 to 310 pounds, the subspecies is further distinguished by its vivid orange coats and thick black stripes. It favors forests, grasslands, and wetlands as its habitat, and it is Indonesia's last surviving species of tiger. In the wild, these cats are found exclusively on the island of Sumatra. However, they are at a critically low population. This is due to them being illegally poached and deforestation of their natural habitat. Therefore, in 2008, the tiger was classed as being critically endangered on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List of Threatened Species. This list is designed to determine an animal's risk of extinction. However, despite poaching being illegal, punishable by steep fines and jail time in Indonesia, the practice shows no signs of declining. This is because there is still apparently a huge market for tiger products in Sumatra and the rest of Asia. And so with the Sumatran tiger's future looking uncertain, massive efforts have gone into its conservation. With that in mind, the United Kingdom's DSL London Zoo opened its state-of-the-art tiger territory in March 2013. The $4.8 million facility was designed to encourage breeding of the species. The enclosure is home to a female named Mill, who came to London from Perth Zoo in Australia. She weighs in at 181 pounds and is described by zookeepers as an intelligent and careful cat. Melody was joined by male JJ in 2012 as part of the global efforts to breed the critically endangered tigers. Luckily, it was love at first sight, with the 287-pound big cat seemingly falling head over paws for his new roommate. Little over a year later in September 2013, the couple welcomed their first cub after a pregnancy of 105 days. This is not bad, as the average length of a tiger pregnancy is 16 weeks, at which point the mother will begin preparing a den to protect her little ones. Incredibly, this particular cub was the first to be born at the zoo for 17 years. Unfortunately, mortality rates in young tigers who are born blind are high, with only half surviving into adulthood. And sadly, JJ and Melo's firstborn drowned in the enclosure's pool at just two weeks old. Also, if you've not done so already, Please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. Despite the setback, however, Melody soon became pregnant once more and welcomed three healthy cups, Nicole, Booty, and Sintet into the world in February 2014. Then after having raised them for nearly two years, the new parents were separated from their babies in early 2016. In fact, the youngsters were sent to start their own breeding groups. However, the couple was not alone for long. Indeed, it was soon discovered that Melody was expecting again. So on Monday, June 27, 2016, the now experienced mother gave birth to twins following a 108-day pregnancy. And fascinatingly, the rare moment was captured on camera. Certainly, after noticing the tigress seemed to be going into labor, zookeepers decided to monitor the birth on their hidden camera system cub amp. They watched as the first cub emerged at 9.19 a.m., followed 40 minutes later by the second. Melody gave her new babies a thorough clean before attending to their first feed in safety, tucking them away in their den. Thanks to the cub cam, the zoo was able to capture some of the cubs' defining first moments and share them with the public. Special events caught on film so far include Dad JJ's first tentative attempts to bond with his babies, as well as the cubs discovering their playful sides. Explaining the benefits of cub cam, Cheese Tubbing London Zoo's assistant curator of mammals said, It allows us to observe the youngsters 24 by 7, while not disturbing mom or dad at all, which is ideal while they get to know their babies, he added. We're overjoyed with our new arrivals and with how Melody is responding to our two cups. One other important milestone to be caught on camera was the first time that the adorable felines opened their little eyes. This tends to happen when they're between 6 and 12 days old. So, it was a good indication that these cubs were developing well. Furthermore, it meant the little furballs could begin exploring their environment properly. 
Like their brothers and sisters before them, the twins will eventually be moved away in order to start their own families and give Sumatran tiger numbers a much needed boost. As a result, the twins' birth has not only been celebrated by the zoo, but also throughout the worldwide conservation community. Anjirafia Tanto, who is the Indonesian country manager for the Zoological Society of London, ZSL said, This is exciting news for the Sumatran tiger, a flagship species for the ZSL conservation program in Indonesia. ZSL has been in Sumatra for more than 14 years, working with our government counterparts to increase the protection of Sumatran tiger. These rare tiger cubs give us hope for their future. For the time being, they're living with their parents and enjoying love, care, and safety inside a den. You can't see them yet, but they'll soon be on display at London Zoo. The cubs continue to thrive, and the zoo has assured us they will be releasing exclusive footage of the cubs here on their website. I hope you like this video. Please share it. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you.